Last year, we reviewed the Polaroid Originals One Step 2 and this year, we're going to look at this, the Polaroid Originals One Step Plus. Disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Polaroid's Originals, although they did send these cameras to us for review. Uh, you might recognize this because we did this review uh, last year with Lara, if you remember that. Um, but they, they, yeah, they have this brand new model, the One Step Plus, which looked identical to the older ones. And uh, this is also one of the reasons why it took me so long to review this, because um, when they first gave it to me, I was a little bit underwhelmed by the appearance because it looks exactly the same as the older model and I thought, you know, what else can you say about an instant camera? Well, there you go. Six months later, I actually think that this is quite a special thing. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that now. Before I go into a deep dive of the One Step Plus, let's have a general overview of this camera, shall we? Well, cosmetically, they, they, I mean, like I said, they look completely identical these two um, but there are subtle differences between the two first of all is the rainbow um, yeah the older model has the rainbow right down there where the cartridge uh, spits out the films while the new one has the rainbow right in the middle which actually reminds me of the original one step way back in the history um, so which is actually quite a nice little touch I do like that and the other physical difference uh, not physical but appearances is the yeah the top slider here of course there is a, a little switch here which I'm going to talk about later which you can switch between the portrait mode and landscape mode very very cool which I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that later um, then lastly will be the logo yeah clearly this one is the one step two this is the one step plus but apart from that it's just like the old camera and they still give you that old strap that I really hate. That's why I don't use one. Let's quickly touch base on the usual stuff that you know I do a review on. First of all, is the build quality. Uh, <laughs> just like the last one, it's plastic, fantastic. So I mean, there's nothing to complain about. It's yeah, it's very solid here. You know, even though it's made with plastic, but just a reminder: do not drop it. Um, secondly, it would be the image quality. You know, is as good as a Polaroid can get. I think it's. Pretty nice, pretty decent. I wouldn't say it's ultra, ultra sharp if you're used to digital photography, uh, but it's very decent for an instant camera, so it's no complaint there as well. And what about, lastly, the handling? Well, again, <laughs> it's very similar to the One Step 2 because it's, yeah, it's an identical body shape. Um, very decent, again. I think um, I do like the, the general offset from the side here so you can hold your finger quite easily now. So it's actually quite easy to hold. And uh, strap lock is still the same thing. Uh, although I did complain about the included strap, which is very, very thin, to dig into your neck a little bit. I do still like the, the little new viewfinder here, which I think is actually pretty cool here. Um, but generally, no complaint at all. Well, here's the key features that I would like to talk about, and um, hence the uh, earlier bit was quite short is that this camera has a Bluetooth feature and why is the Bluetooth so important for an instant camera which I'm going to show you right now um, first of all I can use the Bluetooth as a remote trigger it, because it can link up to your smartphone it's just quite cool when you do long exposure something like that so you know because all the Polaroid camera hasn't got a cable release so you know it's going to be quite difficult if you want to have a very very steady shot so putting on a tripod has Bluetooth as a remote control really really works and secondly it has a lot of cool stuff with the actual Polaroid original app as well, which I'm going to show you right now. So of course the Bluetooth feature is actually very, very handy and it also sets it apart from any sort of instant camera I tested and reviewed before. And uh, with the app, you can actually do a lot more than just the look of it because 
Apart from remote control that I just demonstrated, you can also have self timer, which is actually pretty, pretty cool. You can set it also different kind of times uh, before the trigger starts. And also portrait mode, which is actually very, very interesting, which I'm going to go into a little bit detail in a minute. And it also got double exposures. As you know, unlike Lomography cameras, uh, you know, most of the Polaroid cameras never had a features called double exposure. You'd have to do some kind of hack, you know, physical hacks um, uh, to enable that features. Uh, it's basically just tricking the camera that it hasn't actually taken a shot, which I also can show you later as well. And it has light painting, basically a long exposure, open up the shutter continuously until you basically finish your shot. Which is a very funny thing, it's called noise trigger. Well, noise trigger is uh, some kind of noise sensitivity, so you can clap or shout to act as a trigger. Yeah, I don't know if I want to demonstrate it on the street here, people might think I'm crazy. And finally, which is the most important bit, is the menu mode. Well, this is really, really awesome because unlike the uh, uh, any sort of cameras out there at the moment, you know, none of them will enable you in stock anyway and, and uh, uh, enable you to have menu exposure control. This is really, really awesome. You know, you can control shutter speed, aperture and all kinds of things with it. So uh, I, I totally in love with this feature because you can finally have the full control as a photographer to do something more creative. Well, let's talk about portrait mode, shall we? And uh, yeah, the term does sound very, very familiar because uh, yeah, all the smartphones do have that mode and it actually kind of means the same thing by having a slightly buried background. Uh, background. And um, so this One Step Plus does have these features and with the Bluetooth enable uh, uh, function, it does allow you to set the camera into aperture priority. Well, you still can't really control the aperture unless you go into full manual mode, but it basically it forces the camera to open the aperture wide uh, to basically give you a slightly shallow depth of field given the certain distance. Um, in this case, I'm setting at the moment is roughly about 60 centimeters here. So this will give me the optimal result for a blurry background. I'm going to give it a try to see what it looks like. But also, I think mention I'm going to go into a little bit deeper because the app, of course, you can select portrait mode, but there is a physical hack about that. By pressing that button three times, with the Bluetooth button actually, press it three times, the four lights on top will flash this. That means now you're in portrait mode. So let's give it a go. So you don't need to use the app for that, for that actually. So uh, I'm going to try to take this shot here. One, two. As simple as that, you don't need the app seriously, but um, not many people know that because they you know, it's in the app. Uh, this is a dark secret. Take note. So the second thing I want to talk about is double exposure. Um, as you can see, the app does allow you to have that feature, but you have to use the app itself. There is a way to do it without yeah, touching your phone at all. It's by doing this hack. Well, first of all, come post your shot, put your finger on the trigger button like you normally do, press it, but this time do not let go. Just keep your finger on the button, then you switch off the camera and wait for about half a minute to a minute and switch the camera back on. Now the camera thinks that everything is back to normal, but it resets itself. So it didn't think or didn't remember it has taken a shot. So the film will continue in the camera while I do the second shot. This way you can do double exposures or even multiple exposure if you wish, but bear that in mind, don't overexpose yourself because uh, you, know, you have a very high speed film here by doing more than three shots, I think you're gonna start overexposing it. Finally, let's talk about film. Well. Yeah, it uses all the latest iType film, which is compatible with the, you know, the original i1 from Impossible Odd Projects, and also the newer type uh, a camera like the One Step 2. Um, it's no difference in that, and they are actually cheaper compared to the original uh, SX70 type 600 uh, film, which is uses the battery. So it's a little bit cheaper, so it's actually quite good. And also I want to talk about the accessory, which is actually pretty cool here. Well, this is it, this is the accessory pack. And open it up, it's actually, got quite a few stuff inside <laughs> I do like them actually so you have star filters you have prisms you have 
colors as well which is actually pretty awesome depending on whether you're shooting black and white it enhances the contrast in certain type of colors or having the flash effects uh, if you're having the star filters so you can do a lot of creative stuff with this and i you know i demonstrated with a zohar before and it's actually quite cool it does work and i think it's uh, definitely make you think creatively and what you want to do with your shots as well very lomography like but you know this is polaroids and this is kind of like i think heading the new direction for polaroids i think it's a very good idea here's my thought about the camera i like it and i love this thing this is probably the best polaroid cameras i've tested so far um, there are several reasons for it because first of all it's the bluetooth features i love that features because now via the app you can have full menu control this is key i mean as a photographer myself uh, i would like to take control in, mel in multiple things you know like exposure is very very key because i don't want to let the camera control the exposures and uh, sometimes you want to do a low key photo or high key photo you really want to have that control even though it has the uh, exposure compensation dials in the front but it's nothing beats the manual control to be honest so i like that features and also i know there's hacks to the cameras but they you know the, the double exposure for instance and the timer mode is actually very very cool there i have reserved about the noise trigger because uh, you know i know it has its purpose but i don't think i would like to scream to to trigger the, the the camera so that that might sound a little bit crazy but other than that i think it's really really good Build quality is good and also now with the uh, the two lenses that you enable to do portrait mode and also distance subject like a landscape is icing on the cake so now you can blur the background a little bit and then uh, and also the now has all kinds of accessories comes with it as well so you can do all kinds of creative shots yeah nothing better than put on tripod set to long exposure mode do light trails and things like that which one of my friends are very good at and then uh, it's really really awesome and i genuinely think Lomography has competitor now. You know, this is really, really good. I think it's worthwhile considering if you never ever tried instant camera before. Play around with it first. We hope you enjoyed the video you just saw and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put on that bell button to stay notified when we have a new video coming out. So until next time, see you then. Bye. Disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Polaroid. Oh. Do this quick, man. Come on. Oh, it's more, more chill. It's good. Recording now. That's so noisy. Ah. <laughs> what do it look like? <laughs> How much can you see me? Freaking noisy in London, really. Seriously. First of all, let's explore the portrait mode, shall we? Well, yeah, it sounds familiar because you know, everyone talks about portrait mode these days. Oh. <laughs>